What's up, baby? How you doing? I just want to be great. great. I just want to be great. That's it, baby. That's all. Man, look, it's it's a great day. Uh, it's a beautiful day, regardless of what's going on, man. Um, uh, it's definitely a beautiful day. Um, I'm excited to be here. And uh man, we got some great stuff coming up. Before we even before we even dig into the topics, man, um J Ro, I just want to say, look, thank you to you and Foxland Marketing, man, uh, for all that man that, that you do on a consistent daily basis. Um, we working, brother. We working, you know, we turning it up um for all of you that are listening via YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, wherever you're tuning in from, even from our website, www.thelifeshowpodcast.com. Thank you. Joe Tilka, what's happening, man? Um, look, we got a lot of people. Steph, what's happening? Steph said, Jackie is the man. Jackie, hey, man, you got a fan club out here, bro. <laughs> That's my girl, Steph, baby. Man, you got a you got a fan club out here, man. It's, it's wild out here. It's, it's only it's all due is to you, Tyrone. <laughs> man, look, I don't know what to say about it, but it's okay. <laughs> but man, look, before we get into the topics, man, I gotta talk about what the life show is doing, man. What actually? Not the life show, but Fox Glare Marketing and the life show are doing collectively, man. So, um, man, we got some new shows that just signed up. I can't wait. Um, we got a show that's coming from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Um, then we got a show that's out of the nap that's coming. Uh, matter of fact, we got two shows coming out of nap. Man, this this is big, brother. You want to give it's them a sample, you want to give them a sample early, man. Before you know, we can we can unloaded it up, man. So we can go ahead. Okay, and get, well, man, look, let's give let's give them a sample, man. Let's give them a sample of what's going on.
Oh my oh my goodness. Ooh. That's beautiful. That's beautiful, man. Oh wow. That's beautiful. Look, look. Yeah. Look, man. Oh, KB, what's happening, man? What's up, Keith Brown, man? Uh, that's the show that's coming from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, y'all. They'll be starting uh what on the 20th? On the 20th. They'll be starting on the 20th of this month. So the his light promo, show his promo will be done by Wednesday, so you will be able to show it by Wednesday. Bet. Man, we got a lot of good stuff coming up. Um, we got um sex, love, and and vibes. Vibes. Uh, vibes. Got them vibes. Hey. <laughs> vibes. It's critical around here, man. It's hey, it's a, it's doing one of these, Jack. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it it's is. expanding daily. It is. So, yeah. Um, man, I'm excited about that. Um, that's that's how that's how the, the motivation started up, man. Not everybody gonna like what you know, maybe even what we talk about, but we gonna find something that tickle your fancy. Is ain't that the is ain't that the whole idea about what we doing? Right, it's, right. It's like you know, you're not going to probably like everything. Sometimes I do use foul language, you yeah. know. I try to work on it, but that's Jackie. So do we do have people who don't use that type of language? And I don't use it all the time, but we're trying to find people who can satisfy you for a purpose of inspirational, motivational, uh, ministries, uh, uh, in, empowering. Uh, it's so many different avenues that we're going through, Tyrone, to where, yeah. you know, that's what we are, like you said. It's something that we gonna give to you that you gonna right. like, and and then, then Jack, you you you're doing commercials, uh, for sports leagues and stuff like that. Man, look, you you're doing a phenomenal job, man. I I can't I can't wait. Um, yeah, that's that's my big brother, y'all. Keith Brown, that's my big brother, and so um, you know, I'm I'm glad that he's on board. Um, from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, um, it, it's you know th this is this is what we have expanded to. We're in Atlanta, we're in uh, Indianapolis, um, we Chicago is coming. Um, of course, we're in Gary. Um, we're we're actually in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Now, all of these places, man, it, it don't stop there. Um, it just keep on growing. Um, and, and then just letting people know we only, we, look, we only have a few more of those, uh, those slots. Jackie, if you want to give them a teaser, man, of, uh, of the slots that we got, you know, um, you know, the, the, the things that, that we can offer. Okay. So I think we have only about like three slots left, maybe. Yeah. Uh, right now on the board, we have Out the Box, Tori Empowered, uh, Sex Lives and Vibes, Keith Brown Ministry. Uh, we're going to probably have a double show uh, with the artist Keith, uh, who's going to be starring his, which in a little bit, you know, we should be able to display the video. I think they yeah. said on the 16th. So after the 16th, we'll be able to see some work that you put in as well on that video. Yeah. Uh, so, man, it's a lot of stuff that we really got going on to where those right. podcasts, uh, we, we having a, a 10 slot special deal to where it's a hundred dollars right now for the month. And you can have a contract degree for three months between me and Tyrone, the Life Show, and Fox Glenn Marketing to produce your podcast and also do some extra uh, stuff for you to build your portfolio of the things that you're trying to do. So, Absolutely. you know, uh, hey. once those slots are, it's like a grandfather slot. You know, we hope right. that this ride takes 
the people that we are working with uh, for ride this journey for a while. You know, yeah. uh, if they do say, hey, I need to bag out, then them slots is done. You know, uh, yeah. we're working on so much to where price points will go up eventually. And what we're saying mm -hmm. is, please join us now. You know why prices are affordable and things are affordable. Um, yeah. I really put a lot of time into the things to make me like look at this right now what we looking at tyrone i really like the way this looks dog i love you know? it but it's, I love it. and i and i work on these things for you my brother i have yeah. so many of these to show people that these yeah. are the things combined me and you can yeah. do so i work right. on them to show them that it's affordable for them uh yeah. so i have several of them for us look at this right. I have this one that we can go with. It all depends on what mood we feel. And so I'm right. looking for our moods. You see what I'm saying? And yeah. I try to make, I have your own personal one for Sunday when you, yep. look, you see? So yep. I, I create these for you so people can say, hey, I like that look. I really don't have a border. I don't, because our biggest issue was what, Tyrone? We could not figure out how to set our podcast different. And so yep. the thing was, how can I come up with these types of things to make us look different? Now, we've been on the road for a while now, a couple yep. of months. And to me, I loved us having our, our basics. But as we go on this journey, we're all learning. Yeah. So there we then, go. This, this, this there we actually go. motivational Monday kind of give us a platform, Jackie, to advertise what we do. Yes. So that now, you know, and this is motivational, actually, mm -hmm. because you know, um, where we where we both started, you know, when people go back to where we started and how we started and all of those things, then they can see where we grew. Yeah. You know, they can see the, 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 the progress, Yeah, you know, from, from beginning to where we are now. And there was no way in the world that my production was looking like this, you know. Um, but then you were you had also launched Fox Glenn Marketing. Right. We, we actually launched right around the same time and yeah. we didn't even know. Yeah. The same time, you know, it was like weeks of, of like really receiving our pieces of paper weeks apart and not even knowing each other. Mm -hmm. that and was see, now part. we're at a point to where we're growing beyond ourselves. And I think that's 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 very unselfish. Uh, I'm not saying that to be, you know, like we 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 know everything. But again, it's really good. That's uh, you see her. You see her. She said, you, you are doing good, baby. Let me give her, hey, let me give her her cues because I'm gonna have to Thank see you, her. Honey. I'm gonna Thank have you. to see her next <laughs> on first Friday again. So yeah, her, her cues. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> but I tell you, man, um, this is this has been um, more than a notion, you know, the consistency and now uh, to put people, um, you know, put, you know, place people in position to really um, carry them into the next level. But and so, you know, man, hey, your wife, your wife is not lying, Tyrone. Yeah. You were doing good. But the, the word she she didn't really use that was good to me was good. You were doing great. Yeah. And that's not well, only, I appreciate that. you 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 was. You was doing great. You was doing Man. more than anybody who I knew that was trying to do these things. Like I said, man, I put a whole studio in my garage. And right. if, if you was in Indianapolis at the time I put the studio. You see what I mean? We was on the same path, but in yep. different towns, bro. And I wasn't yep. trying to do a podcast. I just wanted right. to produce them. And so yep. therefore, that's where our disconnect was, but our connection was. You see what I'm saying? Yep. 
Yeah. Because you was yep. doing good, man. Everything that you was doing, it was like, damn, where was this cat at? And why wasn't he in Indianapolis? <laughs> but right. hold on though. No. The thing about what I wanted to do was for you not to be in Indianapolis. Right. And that's what made everything that we're doing work. Because yeah. we're selling them to different states now. Now you talking. So now you talking. It was like, all right, if he was here, will we be on what we on now? Probably not. Nope. But now we're showing people because every time they talk to us in our consultation, well, how are y'all doing this? Well, he's in Gary and I'm in here and I'm in Minnesota. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in Atlanta. I'm in Houston. Yeah. I'm so the paths, man. You know, I listen to you every Sunday. You know, and I and I know you try to motivate. I get one day to shine, Tyrone. So I'm gonna eat yeah. up all my time I can because <laughs> you preach, you preach, man. But you was doing great and phenomenal for me to call you at nine thirty at night and say, "Hey, man." I think we can take ourselves to another level. Yeah. Like that smile Aww, you doing you, right man. now. That smile you doing right now. Yeah. That's what and brought me in. Oh man. Your personality. I didn't see out of all of the shows that you did, the drag, the tiredness. Yeah. When am yeah. I gonna stop? When am I gonna <laughs> give up? I had to read your face. And yeah. I did not see that through your shows. If I right. would have seen an inkling of you about to quit. <laughs> if I would have saw an inkling of you about to Look, quit. Honey, don't do that. I she said, don't make you cry, Jackie. I wouldn't have reached out to you, but you didn't. <laughs> you didn't. So no, that's what it was, bro. It's like yeah. you almost had a hundred shows tops before I even reached out to you. So by yeah. you having that track record, man, said, damn, let me go ahead and tune this shit up and we gonna make this Mustang, uh, this 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 uh, 78 Mustang ride on out. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> but look, check this out, Jackie. Man, um, yesterday, now we did a we did a, a private interview. Um, we did a private interview with a major, um, a major, major uh, hitter in the game, and um, that's gonna be coming up Wednesday. Man, I can't wait. It's just you know uh, somebody that is in the, that has been in the industry for well over forty years. Um, I. I am super excited um, that has been in the music industry. Matter of fact, I, I'm going to go ahead and say it. You know, if, if, if people listening, then they can, they can tune in uh, Wednesday to the interview. Um, but we had we had an interview with Dr. Walt Whitman of Walt Whitman and the Soul Children of Chicago. Man, it was banging. Banging interview, man. And most people are like, well, so what? You did Walt Whitman, but you didn't do it. You know, I look, I don't, I don't care about, you know, the naysayers. You know, they will, they will make fun that you, you know, well, so what? Who is Walt Whitman? But yet, you ain't doing nothing. You know, you sitting there, you probably watching us, and we moving, we keep moving forward. Um, and that's why we're able to expand, Jack. We're able to expand to Atlanta, and we're ex able to expand to Milwaukee, and you know, to Indianapolis and uh, to Chicago. Matter of fact, uh, the he was the associate pastor at the time, but um, you know, my my good friend, Pastor Daryl Jordan, he will be starting his podcast on here. Uh, within the next couple of weeks. So, man, and he started his own church. Um, you know, Christ Center Church of Chicago. He started his own church 
I went to his installation service and man, now for him to come on and say, look, Brown, can you help me? Man, it's, it is, look, I'm super excited, man, because this don't happen every, every night. This don't happen every day. Um, we get to, in, we get to interview people that are really doing major things in the world, Jack. You and I, we get to come in contact with um, talent that we're looking at them probably in their infant stages until they blossom. Man, what is that? That's that's huge, bro. That's huge. It is. So I, I'm super excited about it. It was an awesome interview, man. Tell you the yeah. truth, you know, uh, when I... Uh, when I had, uh, you know, and, 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 and Tyrone, you know what I'm going to say about them damn haters. <laughs> I, you know, man, man, hold on. I'll even be clean with it. How about that? Advice is a funny thing. Everyone wants to give it. Nobody ever wants to take that shit. <laughs> So that's good. That's, that's what, good, Jack. That's what people try to do. To me, you don't have to be a smart addict about it. You have to ask. Because yeah. the name sounds familiar, but what people have realized have they have moved on with their lives and a lot of stuff have been paused. So Dr. Walt Whitman, when you have said his name, you know, uh I had to do my research on him. And that's the first thing you do before you sit here and you run your mouth. Oh, I don't care who. And then I start asking around about have someone heard of him? You see what I mean? Yeah. And people. And uh, a lot of, you know, some people who haven't. But at the same time, when you Google him, I guess if you're not in his area or if that's not what you're into, because you're into a lot of child care and development yep. and that's what he's into teaching yep. and stuff like that so you would know him because of the area of expertise that he's in and that you're in right and so that's when i and the conversation that we had with the doc was great man great yeah. personality yeah. tell you yeah. the truth man he looks younger than me and you i forgot to tell him <laughs> that i was like dang yeah. doc. You look younger than me and Tyrone, sucker. <laughs> and he's talking about he's been in the industry 40 years, 40, 40 plus years. years. I'm only Man, 40. Years. Hey, hey, and what he say? He said he was going to kick your butt if you keep saying. <laughs> he say, he say, I'm going to get off of here, man, if you keep talking about how, oh, making me feel old, Tyrone. <laughs> so, you almost lost our interview because you kept having about 43 and 40 years. I said, man, Tyrone, don't lose the interview. <laughs> man, look, it was it was awesome having him on what? and talking to him, getting his insight, man. He's amazing. And then for him to say, look, Tyrone, I would like to work with you. And I'm like, you would like to work with me? You know, stuff like that, man, you can't. You can't get enough of that. You can't. You can't, and, you know. And it's like stuff that he got coming up that we'll be able to promote on your show. Yep. Uh, yep. Like we're trying to look at some of the stuff uh, and also do a little screen share right now about the festival and the stuff that he did link and share with you, you know, because that's yep. the stuff that we're, we'll be promoting and sharing and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, what the doc <laughs> was doing. Uh, because. Yep. You know, he got a lot of stuff coming up, truthfully. He sure does. That we he sure would. does. Um, we'll we actually we'll be we'll be doing promotions and stuff um for the information that he sent us. Um, you know, so that you know we can we can let people know. Um, he has a brand new album coming out, a brand new uh project coming out. And uh man, it's gonna be it's gonna be hot, bro. It's gonna be hot. Yeah. That brand new project, man. So this is where he be at, right? 
Uh, yeah. Oh, it looks so beautiful. Yeah. You know, it, and then watch this. Everybody that's out there that if if you're looking to get in contact and sing uh, with the Soul Children of Chicago, um, he's he's always looking for talent. And so now that I have his information, um, we linked up, you know, through social media and, you know, connected and, you know, inbox one another. And man, I was I was so surprised at, you know, how open he was to conversation and, you know, um, into looking into the offer that was out there to, you know, to come on the show. And he was like, yeah, come on, you know, I, I'll be on. At first he told me, look, I'll get back with you. Um, I have some things to do, but, you know, called him the, the, the next day, the following day, he was like, Tyrone, I'll be there. And I'm like, oh, okay. And I was telling my wife, I was kind of bumbling my words like, you are not going to believe this. I got Walt Whitman coming on the show. <laughs> this is crazy. So, um, you know, so for those that want to be, you know, in the Soul Children of Chicago, man, look, he has, he has developed so many singers and so many, um, you know, leaders in the community, uh, Pastor Chris Harris. And, man, if I started name dropping, man, look, Y'all wouldn't, here it is. He, he he has had to mentor so many different talents. And so um, I'm glad to be connected with him. Um, I'm glad that we had a chance to interview him and then, um, you know, grow from there. Uh, but that's just the, that's just the tip of the iceberg, Jack. We gonna, we gonna, we gonna do some other ones, man. We, we, we got some work to do. This him coming up right here. I guess yeah. talking about him at the White House and stuff. There you go. Yeah. Here, so I'm gonna ask you guys really quick by a show of hand. One person raise their hand. Who's the best singer in the group? <laughs> That's a real team right there. That's why I asked you guys. Everybody collectively <laughs> makes it happen. I love it. So this is a very busy time for you guys. How many performances do you have scheduled from here into the new year? Well, actually, we're not doing a whole lot. We've got a couple that we're going to be um, working with the homeless shelter. Oh, yeah, well. Wow. Seniors home. Just to <laughs> look at this year. Act the walk with really, uh, neat. <laughs> My bad. Hey, man, I'm just getting good on this production. My bad, Tyrone. <laughs> no, man, you're good. You're good, man. I just wanted to let them see who he was and what they have to expect. You see what? Yeah. I'm yeah. yeah. That's all. And see, this, this, see, this is the thing. You know, remember when we first got together, we were talking about reaching out to different people and trying to um, really get them um, to buy into the live show. And I remember you telling me, Tyrone, just keep on knocking at it. Keep on knocking at the door. Somebody going to answer it. Yeah, You know, and then we thought we had one. And then, you know, that kind of fell through. And then we tried to, you know, recoup and, and, and reboot. And it didn't work out the way that we thought it was going to work. And we just like, I... At the time, I was just kind of like, man, are you kidding me? But then God had me to, um, you know, send the, the, the YouTube link to uh, all of my uh, LinkedIn followers. Um, I have over a thousand uh, followers in on, on LinkedIn. And so I just inbox everybody. Look, please just, you know, if you could just do me a favor. Uh, just go and, um, you know, subscribe to our channel. Um, and, and then I'll put the, put the link in there. And a lot of them did. So right now we're, we're, we're pretty much emerging up to 130, almost 130 followers or subscribers on YouTube. And so it's, it's, it's a, it's a work in progress, but. That's how I actually got in contact with Dr. Walt Whitman. And then he asked about, you know, the program. And I just asked him, would you come on? And he was like, okay, I'll do it. 
you know, let's go. You can't really trip over that following count. You see what I'm saying? No. Or the subscriber count. It's the hardest thing to do is to get a subscriber on your channel. And so, therefore, I'm already 100 steps ahead of realizing that's not going to be the monetization of this company with me and you. Correct. Correct. And so, to get someone to, which I am doing more and more of, you see what I mean? Even TikTok videos, I am now hitting the heart button. If it made me tickle, if it made me laugh, (laughs) I have to because it's putting me in a mind frame. How many times do you do it, though, Tyrone? And it's like, we're trying to get people to do the same thing. And what it is, is it's a program. And if you don't program your mind, you will keep swiping. If you watch that video from the beginning to the end and you didn't like it, that's a problem. And yep. the reason why I said it's a problem is because I'm sitting here trying to produce videos for people to like them. And right. I can see 560 something views, but three hearts or three thumbs. You said, you know, so yep. I have to like video. I like more. I will like our videos before any. I will heart all of our videos to show yep. I don't care if you heart it. 560 I, I views. Like I like it. <laughs> I like who was in it. I like who made it. I love it. That's it. That's it. But That's right. on the back end, Tyrone, people don't see the effect of numbers that we see. We see Correct. four likes, eight likes, couple of hearts. And but we see a whole lot of views on the, the back numbers end. numbers is outstandingly, rageously up there, dude. They are. So I don't get frustrated on that. What I do right. is, as I look at social media, I like a video. I sit yeah. there and I comment and I say, hey, I would love to get you on the Life Show podcast. I have someone. I'm Jackie Roper with Fox Glenn Marketing. Hey, get at me. Woo, woo, woo. So besides disliking, I turn around and I like. And I say, man, yeah. program yourself to like videos. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Try to watch the ones because Tiffany always, you know, my wife with a good heart. Oh, you know, you got a company. Don't you, don't you like that one? Ah, funny. <laughs> funny, baby. She gonna get you, bro. Hey, she got me. <laughs> oh, man. So, Look, man, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm so enthused um, about what's going on. Uh, the the Dr. Walt Whitman interview was super, I mean, like, over the top. But that's just, that's, the, that's just one. You know, we've had numerous, like, the, my intro, my intro music, uh, my cousin, Bishop Dwayne Coleman, I yeah. mean, yeah. him, and his and his wife coming on here, and that was huge that was because actually, I actually I was in um you know his coming out video, and so that was man that was big man. But A see, lot of this stuff. See people, don't people realize, they, don't, they don't know right. They don't know what we you know. Everybody think you have to go live. We go live because we like to go live. You know what I'm saying? And that's what we like to do. Uh, They don't realize you have so many shows set up behind to where we're pre-recording to make sure that we're still getting stuff in and it also takes it off of you. But damn, even if we did a pre-recorded, you will still have another show set up live. You see what I'm saying? So it's so much, Tyrone, to where it's like, we're really working, working effectively. We had bumps and hiccups. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Structure, restructure. Uh, right now, we're moving in a great direction with the 10 slot program that we didn't set up. Uh, yeah. Very good. You know what I'm saying? Affordable. Um, and we're giving so much more than, you know, we're giving so much more because 
I know we know that we're going to take this to a whole different avenue and level of Absolutely. everybody who wants to continue the journey to realize that one day that all the Oprah's is gone and all the Montel's is gone, but they still need some people to sit here and talk and motivate and move in a positive direction. And so who are those people who are setting up this path to pay their yep. dues? This is a pay your yep. dues type era yep. and really keep with your consistency philosophy of making sure that it goes right, you know? Yeah. And, and it will. You, you know, know exactly. I, I, I was, I was saying, um, you know, when I when I started, and I, I I wasn't I wasn't meaning no harm by it, but I I would I would used to say, you know, ain't nobody gonna beat me doing what I love to do, you know. But here it is, it's somebody that is running the same pace as me in you. That now we met each other and now we on the same plane running the same race at the same pace. And that's big, man. Yeah. You don't you don't understand how people don't understand how hard that is to come back. Oh man, it's like hitting the lotto. What yeah. It's like hitting the lotto. You know, you gotta think about what is cash value in your life. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> This friendship is 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 valued at over more than thirty million. It's really don't have a, when they say priceless. Yeah, it's like you can't really. I'm down there. We was at thirty. I was down there still shooting up to eighty, a hundred million. I'm like, who can motherfuckers can't pay for us, Tyrone? <laughs> <laughs> no, not on the pay we go. <laughs> No, hey, man, listen to this, man. Now, this is true, you know, because last night, you know, I love how 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 America was made, the food that made America. And they were yeah. talking about your boy, Famous Amos. So this is Motivational Monday. So I'm motivating you to watch about this black man, Famous Amos, who made these cookies, and then he got into a financial rut. So while I was yeah. watching that, guess who faces I see? <laughs> Me and you, yeah. brother. Trying to succeed on a path to where we know that is marginalized. So let's not be the famous fucking Amos. You see what <laughs> I'm it. saying? That's it. That's How it. How can I not be? Now, all due respects to Mr. Amos, but I feel like he was in a time period to where things was against him. You know yeah. what I mean? Financially, banks wasn't really investing in black people. He probably couldn't get a loan for some of the stuff that he did. He probably right. wasn't calculating the funds and how it was coming in and going out at the same yeah. time. But the man had a lot of money coming in, Tyrone. If you watch this episode of how, The Food That Built America, famous Amos was competing with Mrs. fucking Fields Cookies, man. I, rem I, re I remember the, the two names because mm -hmm. they everywhere. Okay, so Mrs. Fields, with her money, was able to set up shop in the mall. You know, <laughs> they both start coming up with the philosophy of let's sell these cookies. Famous was a right. little smaller. Mrs. Yeah. Fields wanted to sell hot and fresh. You see right. what I'm saying? Right. But they both was going through bill uh, failures as a business, man. Like she didn't right. get no sales the first day. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So it was really going down. And so what yeah. Famous did, like he really ended up selling his company for $1.1 million to these motherfuckers. They sold it for $61 million. And then the person who bought it for 61 sold it for one point something billion dollars. So he walked away with a million dollar check that wouldn't even cover the rest of his expenses. That's crazy, you know, man. This was like, this was like the the sixties uh, and the fifties, the seventies. Famous star making these cookies in the in the early seventies, late seventies. Wow, like seventy six. He so, huge. He so so, and that's and and that's a good man. That's a good um. That's a good segue because do you know your worth? Do you know your value? Because are you just selling out just because you're trying to reach a certain point? 
or is it is it your is it really your passion? Because if if you just waiting for a monetary value, then you really don't know what your worth is. I I, I look at that in my mind, and most people say, well. You know, if a hundred million dollars came your way, no, because I built it. I be look, we built we building this thing from the ground up, Jack. Here it is. I started out of my house. I started out of my house, and to now be in the studio, who would have thought? And people look when when we go in the different places and people see black men. That own something, man. They, look, look. I don't care if you never say hi to me, but as long as you give me that R E S P E C T, we ain't got no problems. <laughs> you gonna have to respect our hustle because we ain't asking people for nothing that they don't throw away every day. That's just the that's the bottom line. So. Now we're giving people something that they want, some something that they need, and now they got to invest into themselves because we have. When they see all of the equipment, Jack, did you show them all of the equipment that you get? Man, just make a, a, a pan, pan all of the equipment that and you can't even show everything. You can't even show everything, but just pan. And show the equipment that you invested in. Man, that's huge. That's huge. And when people look, when they come into the studio and they see all of the equipment that we are invested, look, we didn't ask nobody for nothing. And even if we did, all we asked them for is donate some canned goods for you know, a homeless drive or something like that. But I'm trying to tell you, man, this is big. And regardless of who don't get on board, you know, it, it's it's that kind of mindset. Either you get on the train or you get left. A lot of people gonna say they knew us when, but here it is. You go, we gonna go back here. We gonna go back here to the numbers. We're going to go back here to the comments. We're going to go back here to the uh, to the hearts. And then we're going to see, oh, was you really supporting? You well, know, I saw you. Yeah. You, but know what? I, you know what? It's not, it's like, you, you remember when we first started, man. You remember me when we first started, how, ooh. Hey, if you don't like this, I don't give a damn. Get off. I'm going to be your friend. Remember me? If we go right. back to the old me, and I don't even say that anymore. You know right. what I'm saying? I don't even say those things no more because now I know that I've asked you to do it. And the only reason why I've really asked you to do it is because it – fucks up this algorithm that me and Tyrone is trying to play with. I'm not asking you to do it because you like what we saying. I'm not asking you to do it because you watch the video. I'm asking you to do it because some damn Facebook thing that we set up with you said you was my motherfucking friend. So as my friend, I'm just asking you to hit the fucking like button so my <laughs> friend can get out here and then you no, you're motivated. It, but just it will get out here into this world to where other people can see it. And that's what it is. So when I say that to people, man, and when me and Stephanie say, man, we hate people, that's why the fuck I hate people, man. Because <laughs> you can't teach them everything. It's like, man, it's, it's either you jealous of us or you jealous of the work Tyrone is trying to do, but it's some damn reason that you're not hitting that like button and he got... 600 and 800 friends on his book. I can see all of the numbers. I can see all of the thumbs and I can see yep. all of that. And I'm letting y'all know, I see everything, man. It's a system set up to where we can see men, women, and children, age groups, what country, what city, what state, all of that. Number one. 
<laughs> now we are set up as a business. This ain't no checkers, baby. We play no. a total game of chess, uh, battleship, and I ain't never played a uh, battleship because I boy, but this is what we playing, and this is real, and we setting this up for everybody to win. You know what I'm saying? Man, can you please say that again, Jack? Because I think they just they think this this is a fly by night. And actually, this has been for 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 me, this has been since July, uh July 8th of 2020, that we've been going constantly. Now, I don't know, you know, who is still going, who not, and I look, I'm not in, in no in nobody's business, but I know that we are. We continue to keep going past the point of man. Oh, that's just a fly by night. Oh, they ain't doing nothing. Oh, they ain't own nothing. This is this is going way past that. This is going way past. So yeah. we have set up accounts. So we have set up now to where now we have other shows that are intermingling with our own. So we are setting up now where we have interviews that are coming, that are already doing things in the community. So now we just interviewed Dr. Walt Whitman of the children, Soul Children of Chicago. He'll be on Wednesday. The interview will be on Wednesday. Look, Janet, everybody. Hey, so, Tyrone, man, it, it, dog. The conversations that me and you had and the growth that we didn't had and everything that we didn't develop with this dude and every price point that we didn't change, shifted and maneuvered is all because of the development to help everyone. And it was yep. never to hurt no one. It was never to take nothing out of no one, but it's to let them realize it's like if you give your kid a 16 year old a car, he go yep. buy a new car. Motherfucker yep. ain't got a job and he don't play no sports. <laughs> All he do is sit on the on the on and watch TV and eat your food. Yeah. No, you got to do something to That's earn right. this car. You see what I'm bro, saying? Bro, I already know, man. Bro, look, Keith, I already know. And see, this ain't about this ain't about Stephanie. Look, look, watch it. <laughs> but look, I, bro, I already know, and that's why this is what I did. And this wasn't to, you know, say, you know, screw you to all the, the, the people that was on my, my Facebook uh, page. But what I did is um, I had, I think at the time, I had over 1,500 friends when I started the live show. But now I, I, he went through and erased the majority of them. Now I probably got about 1,000. And that probably is still too much. So what I did is I kicked everybody out and said, look, if you want to be entertained, go ahead to my public page because now I created a public page. Now you can go on there for motivation if you want to. You can go on there, see what I'm doing if you want to. But you're not about to be sitting up on my personal page and you don't even like me, bruh. <laughs> Hey, oh my goodness, and I feel you, but listen to me. And this is the and when I met you, it was like, you know, I used to say that shit, man. And you no, yeah. like, no, nah, no. Nah, nah. And the reason why I hated it because neither one of us are mean spirited men. No, but no. to me, those are making us do mean spirited acts, right? You know what I'm saying. You know what I mean, Tyrone? Even yeah. by just deleting somebody and saying, oh, no, let me take my ball and get off the court. That's how I felt. And I was like, shit, Jackie, it's your fucking court. It's your court. Everybody got their own court. So yeah. this is my court. Yeah. So yeah if I, I'm going to take my ball, or matter of fact, let me just kick you out of my court. You know? <laughs> I mean? And like, I, like you said, I had 900 something friends. I went yeah. down to 333. Wow. Wow. And it is not wow. to, to be disrespectful, but yeah. I'm, I'm not seeing half of you suckers comment on stuff. So yeah. I you, tell you the truth. I didn't know if you're bots, if you're surprised, if you're still alive. You know what I'm saying? 
Let me just get rid of it. Let me just get rid of it. But you yeah. see him no coming back though, Tyrone. Yeah. You see yeah. him. Yeah. And, and now and then, know- this, 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 this is the thing, Jack. You know, regardless of what we do, um, you know, you we always gonna hide those kind of people. But look, man, we have we are we are thriving, bro. And I'm not discouraged about that. Um, even after this, even after uh, this in, this motivational Monday um, at seven thirty, we have a we have an interview um, with with Brian Metcalf. And for those of you that don't know who Brian Metcalf is, Brian I'm Metcalf sure. is strong in Chicago. They, I mean, this man doing work for homeless, um, giving all kind of baskets for youth. Look, if you don't know who Brian Metcalf is, you about to find out at seven thirty, right? So, look, man, we we constantly on the move, and we not stopping for nobody. So, if, hey, if either they get off or they move on, there it is. Hello. Let me pause it and replay it. I was trying to put it somewhere else, but we're going to watch it. I got to put it in the queue for tonight. Yeah. But let's play it. That's good. Oh, yeah. Hey, man, what you say? We getting better, baby. (laughs) (laughs) We getting better. Somebody, yeah, you oh, know, you, Tyrone making me work. If you don't know, Tyrone making me work. Man, I you please tell him. Game with y'all. Please, please tell him, Jack. <laughs> Look, also, I forgot one. This coming Saturday, y'all. Um, we have a computer drive. We need you to sign up. I'm gonna put the link. On the live show right after the show. Look, to everybody that signed up, you will get a free computer. Let me say this again. For those of you that are listening, everybody that's in this area, Chicago and Indiana, man, I'm going to ask y'all again. I'm going to see who's listening. All right. What I need for you all to do is share this. Share it two, three, four times. I don't care how many times you share it, but share it, okay? <laughs> because somebody needs to know exactly what we saying so that now they can take advantage. Hey, I ain't saying we- nothing. I don't know where Tyrone got these computers from. All I hear is this. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Let me put this fight out. <laughs> Master Jay Rose, that's funny, man. Man, let me let me let me put this fire out. <laughs> I don't need to do this computer stuff, man. I but 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 know. but look, let I'm me wrong. tell y'all. Let me tell y'all like this. Not wrong. I let me tell y'all like this. I ain't never heard a black man say I'm giving away anything and computers, nigga. I no. Computer. <laughs> look, look, look. Check this out. I need y'all to know that this is legit. I'm going to post a flyer in the live show right after this show so that y'all will know. Now, I got to tell y'all something about me and Jackie before before we before we get off of here. Uh, here it is. Now, Jackie and I, we met on Facebook. Um, he met we met because um, I was interviewing his cousin. And when I interviewed his cousin. He was trying to get in contact with me. Um, Once Jackie and I, once we started working together, we found out that we was real family. No joke. Like, 
My sister is married to his cousin, his blood cousin. No joke. We found out that we are cousins, that we are family. And so now that we know that we family, man, hey, look, can't nobody say nothing about Jack that, <laughs> that I'm going to receive because I know that this is my family, man. It ain't, look, you can't, it, it can't get no better than that, bro. It can't get no better. Here it is. We merged into a partnership, and then afterwards, we found out we family. How good can you get? How good can you get? It can't get no better than that. Or as they say, it can't get no gooder than that. I'm through, man. I'm through on my soapbox. <laughs> hey, but Jack, man, they, look. Hey, did they get it? I'm, I'm a, I'm a, did I'm a post it. No, did they get it? I hope so. He's nuts. <laughs> Got he. <laughs> Got he. <laughs> this dude, man. Oh, what? This dude is. What? <laughs> you are. You are dumb. You are dumb. Jack, you are dumb. <laughs> you are dumb. But <laughs> oh. well, look. Oh, Keith. Let me let me tell you. Um, okay, so Taishina, her husband is married to Zach's cousin. Okay, man, that's what it is. Know we family, man. We ain't gotta keep telling them we family, man. Did you? Look, I can let them know. Mate, you just let them know, know, man. Let them know what it is. Hey, but you, look, man. Look, I, I, I always have a blast with you, Jack. Man, this was a this was a blast, man. And we we actually talked about the subject without talking about the subject. Hey, just tell him, tell him if I call Jack. Trouble, trouble. Oh. <laughs> Look, we gotta we gotta get out of here. Man, Jack, any any closing words, bro. Hey man, keep smiling, man. You know what I mean. Yeah. You only live one life, straight up. You know, build bonds, build relationships, have fun with your life. Truthfully, you know. Yeah. yeah. If you if you if you want internal hemorrhoids, eat a lot of cheese, and then your ass to be hurting all fucking week, and then you realize life is good. <laughs> What are you talking about, dude? I don't know, man. I'm just trying to tell people to eat healthy so their digestive system don't be fucked up. You know. <laughs> look, look, y'all. Hey, look, y'all. Hey, we got to get... <laughs> hey, I told you I never wanted to do this shit. <laughs> <laughs> look, y'all. Hey. <laughs> we gotta get out of here, y'all. Look, I'm your boy, TBJ. You already know that's J Rope, man. Look, I'm ready to Don't forget, seven, 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 seven. Brian Metcalf, all the way from the shy, man. He's about to get loose up in here. Peace. Oh, Na 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 na